Rabbit is running the raffle. Roll up, roll up. The top prize is a ride in my hot air balloon. Wow, that sounds fun. <coughs> Can I have a ticket, please? The blue ticket wins a toy car. Well done, Danny. <laughs> Can I have a ticket, please? Thank you, Peppa. What are you hoping to win? The balloon ride. Wouldn't it be nicer to win the homemade chocolate cake? Daddy Pig loves homemade chocolate cake. <laughs> the red ticket wins... The balloon ride! Hooray! All aboard for the balloon ride! How many passengers, please? Four, please. Teddy and a dinosaur. That makes six. All aboard! <laughs> Hurry up, Daddy Pig. Hop aboard. <laughs> Quick, Daddy! Slice the main brace. Chocks away. Full steam ahead. Very impressive, Miss Rabbit. You must be an expert pilot. Not really. This is the first time I've ever flown a balloon. Oh. Hold tight! Miss Rabbit heats up the air in the balloon to make it rise into the sky. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> Would anyone like to do the map reading? I will. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? I'm very good at map reading. Oh. This map is a bit difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go higher? Yes, please. Higher, higher. The balloon is rising high into the sky. Oh, where did the sky go? Don't worry, Peppa. We're just flying through a cloud. Ooh. Wow! The sky is back again! Hooray! <laughs> big balloon! Big balloon! Bigger than the sun and moon! Flying high in the sky! Fly, fly and fly and fly! <laughs> <laughs> Look, Teddy! We're flying really high. Peppa, be careful you don't drop. Teddy! I've dropped Teddy! <gasps> don't worry, Peppa. We'll rescue Teddy. Hold tight, everybody. We're going down. Miss Rabbit is making the balloon go down so that Teddy can be rescued. I can't see Teddy anywhere. There he is. Teddy's caught in the tree. I can use this anchor to rescue Teddy. Slowly. Slowly. There. Daddy Pig has rescued Teddy. Teddy! Hooray! <laughs> oh dear. No one is looking where they are going. Good 
goodness me! Oh, hi there, Miss Rabbit! Uh, how? Please, Grandpa! We can't get down! Don't worry, I've got a ladder! Hooray! Everyone climbs down from the big balloon. Granny, Grandpa! Miss Rabbit took us for a ride in her big balloon. How very exciting. I'm afraid the most exciting thing we can offer is a piece of my homemade chocolate cake. Homemade chocolate cake? That is exciting. <laughs> That was the best balloon ride ever. And that was the best chocolate cake ever. <laughs> 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 It is very early in the morning. <laughs> George, it's too early, dinosaur. Go back to bed. <laughs> it sounds like someone's up bright and early. Happy birthday, George. George woke me up. You woke everyone up on your birthday, Peppa. That was different. That was my birthday. And today is George's birthday. Oh, happy birthday, George. <laughs> Here's your present, George. <laughs> <laughs> I know it will be some sort of dinosaur thingy. <laughs> Squeeze its tummy. <laughs> Too scary. <laughs> George, I've made you a birthday card. Can you guess what the picture is? George cannot guess. I was going to paint you a flower. Oh. George does not like flowers. But in the end, I painted you a dinosaur. That's a lovely picture, Peppa. Yes, I'm very good at painting. <laughs> now, we're going somewhere very special for George's birthday treat. Yippee! Let's go! Where are we going? You'll see. <laughs> the family are setting off for George's birthday treat. Are we going to the circus? No, but it's somewhere just as good. Um, is it the cinema? No, much better. I just can't guess. Where can they be going? We're here. The family have arrived at the museum. Why are we at the museum? Come on, you'll see. What can George's birthday treat be? George, what do you like best in the whole world? Dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, dinosaur. 
George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Hmm, silly old dinosaurs again. <laughs> <laughs> Frightened George, it's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look, I stand on this spot and. <laughs> and now. There's another surprise. Yes. All of George and Peppa's friends are here. Surprise! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a birthday cake for George. Can anyone guess what sort of cake it is? A dinosaur cake. It is! What an amazing guest, Peppa! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! George. <laughs> There's one last surprise. Follow me. <laughs> what is the last surprise? <laughs> what do you think it is, Peppa? It's probably something to do with dinosaurs. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it just needs to be filled with air. Peppa loves bouncy castles. But if it's for George, why isn't it something to do with dinosaurs? <laughs> it is a dinosaur. A bouncy dinosaur. <laughs> George loves bouncy dinosaurs. Everyone loves bouncy dinosaurs. This is great! Happy birthday, George! <laughs> to Susie's pretend friend. Leo can't catch the ball. He can. He just doesn't like playing catch. What does Leo like doing? He likes to roar. Is he going to roar now? Um, yes. <coughs> roar! Wasn't that you? No, that was Leo. Ah! Hello, Leo! Peppa pretends that she can see Leo Lion. Leo, will you be my friend too? What did he say? He's nodding his head. That means yes. <laughs> Peppa, Susie, would you like to come inside and have some fruitcake? <laughs> Mummy Pig has two slices of fruitcake for Susie and Peppa. Mummy, Susie's got a pretend. 
Lion's friend. He's called Leo Lion. I see. And does he like fruitcake too? Rah! Leo loves fruitcake. Don't be silly, Peppa. That wasn't Leo. That was you. <laughs> Leo prefers chocolate cake. I haven't got chocolate cake. Will Leo have some fruitcake? Rah! He will try a little slice. Mummy Pig gives some cake to Susie's pretend friend. George is playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. George, you're sitting on Leo. George does not know that Susie has a pretend friend. special visitor. It's only Susie, Daddy. Are you sure there isn't someone else, Peppa? There is someone else. King Leo Lion. Oh, <laughs> it's an honor to meet you, King Leo. Daddy Pig pretends he can see King Leo. May I say what a fine golden mane you have? Yes, it is. And he is wearing his best red trousers. Oh, yes. And his blue jumper. Silly Pepper. Leo isn't wearing a blue jumper. He's wearing his best green shirt. Well, it is sort of a bluey green. <laughs> Pepper, Susie, your friends are here. Pepper's friends are here. They're all wearing their boots. Let's jump in muddy puddles. Yes! <laughs> are you sure Leo should jump in puddles without his boots? put on the table. Yes! Daddy Pig is reading his newspaper. 
You can have my newspaper when I've finished reading it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now we can start painting. Silly George. Big children do not put their hands in the paint. <laughs> George loves painting with his hands. <laughs> Peppa loves painting with her hands. <laughs> Very good. Can I have a potato, Mummy Pig? They aren't cooked yet, Daddy Pig. Are you hungry, Daddy? I'm not going to eat it. What's this? What is Daddy Pig doing? Now, who can tell me what this is? A flower! <laughs> Clever, Daddy! Oh, 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 I loved painting when I was a young piggy. Now, where are my old painting things? <laughs> Daddy, why are you wearing a funny hat? <laughs> this is my beret. It puts me in the mood for painting pictures. Now, what shall I paint? <laughs> well chosen, George. I'll paint the old cherry tree. What's that? It's an easel, Pepper. It holds my canvas. What's a canvas? It's a bit like paper for very special paintings. Is that toothpaste? Oh, oh no, Pepper. These are special paints for grown-up artists. <laughs> First, we need to paint the sky. Look, what colour is it? Blue, of course. Very good. Let's start with blue. <laughs> now for the cherry tree. We need green for the leaves. But there isn't any green. Never mind. If we mix blue paint with yellow paint, we can make green. Mixing blue and yellow makes green. Ooh. What lovely green leaves. And here's some grass. What about the branches? We haven't got brown paint. We can make brown. We'll mix the green and the red. Mixing green and red makes brown. Ooh. Daddy Pig paints the tree trunk and the branches. Yes, Pepper. Put your finger in the paint and dab it onto the tree. <laughs> One, two, three. Well done. Now it's George's turn. <laughs> <laughs> what a great painter you are, George. <laughs> there. The painting is finished. Running through Daddy's paint. Shoo, shoo, naughty ducks. Shoo, ducks, shoo. Stay away from our painting. Whoa. Oh no, the ducks have made paint footprints all over the painting. Oh dear. What was all that noise? Painting. Hmm. Let me see. 
The ducks are making paint footprints in the garden, just like the ones on the painting. Daddy's painting isn't spoiled, Peppa. It's perfect. Hooray! <laughs> oh, yes. I am a bit of an expert at painting. And so are the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> to play in Granny and Grandpa's garden. What's that noise? Grandpa's making something. Hello, Pepper and George. That's perfect timing. I've just finished making it. And may we ask what it is? <laughs> I'll show you. Wow! A little toy train! It's not a toy. This is Gertrude. She's a miniature locomotive. But doesn't it need railway tracks to run on? Oh, no. I fitted Gertrude with car wheels so she can go anywhere she likes. Grandpa! Can we ride in Gertrude? Hop aboard! <laughs> Full steam ahead! Bye-bye, Granny! See you later! Peppa and George love Grandpa's little train. Grandpa's little train goes choo-choo-choo! Here is Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. I see you're playing toy trains. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. How's your little lorry? Little lorry? My breakdown truck is a proper work vehicle. Granddad, can I ride on the train? Hmm, it's your choice, Danny. If you'd rather play trains than... Thanks, Granddad. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is driving the school bus. And to our left, we can see some hills with trees. All Peppa's friends are here. Can we ride on the train? Um, I'm giving the children an educational bus tour. Are trains educational? They certainly are. Uh, hands up all those who want to ride on the train. Me, me! And hands up all those who want to stay on the bus. Okay. You can all go on the train and I'll follow along behind. <laughs> What a lot of mud. We don't want to get stuck. 
Maybe we should go a different way. It's only a patch of mud. Come on, Gertrude. You can make it. Come on, Buff. You can make it. The bus is stuck in the mud. Oh, bother. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How are you today? I'm a bit stuck. Can you rescue me? Certainly. Is your truck strong enough? Trust me. Did it work? Uh, no. We need a vehicle with more power. Can I help in any way? Uh, it's nothing that I can't deal with. Uh, thanks, anyway. I've got an idea. Grandpa Pig's train can tow me out of the mud. Uh, good thinking, Miss Rabbit. Grandpa's little train is going to pull the bus out of the mud. Full steam! Gertrude isn't a toy. Gertrude is the very best train in the whole world. Going to meet your new cousin. Ooh. Pepper and her family have arrived at Chloe's house. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, Pepper and George. This is Chloe, Pepper and George's big cousin. But where's our new cousin? Here's your new baby cousin. Ooh. The new cousin is a tiny baby piggy. Oh, how beautiful. Is it a girl, baby? No, it's a boy. Oh, I wish it was a girl. Me too. <laughs> George is pleased the baby is a boy. Dinosaur. <laughs> I think the baby's too little to play with dinosaurs. George. The baby doesn't want to play with you. It wants to play with me. Pepper, the baby is much too little to play ball games. But if it can't play with a dinosaur or a ball, what can it do? It eats and it sleeps. <coughs> and it does that. <laughs> <laughs> Pig, can I hold the baby? Yes. If you're very careful, you can hold Alexander. Alexander? That's his name. Baby Alexander. What a big name for such a small piggy. It's quite nice, even though it's a boy. Goo, goo, goo. Oh, what's that smell? Maybe Alexander's nappy needs changing. Ugh, disgusting. Peppa, when you were a baby, you wore nappies. I did not. 
<laughs> Mummy, can I play with Pepper and George in the garden? <laughs> yes. <laughs> baby brother. Yes, Alexander is very sweet. I wish George was a sweet little baby piggy. I know. George can pretend to be a baby piggy. He can go in my doll's pram. That's a good idea. No. George does not want to be a baby. George, if you pretend to be a baby, I promise to be nice to you forever and ever. George is thinking. And you can play with all my toys. George is thinking more. And when we get home, you can play with all my toys. <laughs> George has decided. Goo, goo, goo. What a sweet baby piggy. <laughs> Here are Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit, and Zoe Zebra. Hello. Why is George in that doll's pram? It's not George. It's a baby piggy. Goo goo. But it is George. George is a pretend baby piggy. Ah. Is this a girl or a boy? It's a girl. No. George does not want to be a girl, baby. Okay, it's a boy. <laughs> I've got some cookies. Would the baby piggy like one? Oh, no. It can't eat cookies. George likes cookies. Maybe it can have one cookie. <laughs> goo -goo. It's so clever and so handsome. <laughs> it's very funny. It's the best baby piggy ever. George likes this game. <laughs> Here is Auntie Pig with baby Alexander. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. It's much sweeter than George. Oh dear. George liked being the baby piggy. Oh, George. You'll always be my baby piggy. <laughs> Maybe it's time for a new game. How about some dinosaur chasing? <laughs> George likes being a baby piggy, but he likes being George more. George are finishing their breakfast. Today is a good day for a cycle ride. A cycle ride! Yippee! <laughs> Pepper and George love cycle rides. Pepper has her bicycle. George has his tricycle. Mummy and Daddy have their tandem. What's that? It's our bicycle. <laughs> I sit at the front, and Mummy Pig sits at the back. And we can put these two seats on the back for Peppa and George. But 
but we want to ride our own bicycle. George is a bit too little. His legs will get very tired. But I'm a big girl. I won't get tired. It will be a long cycle ride, Pepper. Are you sure? Yes, Dad. I'm sure. Okay. Are we all ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. It's not a race, Peppa. It's just a gentle bicycle ride. Yes, Daddy, but I'm still winning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, now we're winning. Peppa, we won the race. No, you didn't, Daddy, because I wasn't racing that time. But now I am. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> you cheeky little piggy. <laughs> I'd forgotten how much I love cycling. Oh, I'd forgotten how much I hate cycling up hills. The ground is getting quite steep. <sighs> I don't like cycling up hills. But look at the beautiful view. My goodness. This is hard work. Mummy Pig, you're not peddling. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Daddy Pig. I was just enjoying the view. <laughs> Peppa and her family have reached the top of the hill. <laughs> All Peppa's friends are here. Hello, Peppa. Hello. We're going to have a race on our bikes. <laughs> Do you want to race too? OK, as long as we can race downhill. OK. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are going to race down the hill. Are you all ready? Ready! You can start when I honk the horn, like this. Pedro has set off too soon. Stop, Pedro! The race hasn't started yet. Sorry, Mr. Pig. I was just letting you know that the horn sounded like this. Uh, Sorry, Pedro. That time it was my fault. The next time I honk the horn, you can go. Did you say go? I think so. Go! Go, go! go on, Peppa. But, Daddy, you didn't honk the horn. Danny Dog is in the lead. Peppa Pig 
Pretty flag. Thank you, Granny. It isn't as good as the boys' flag. I wish we were in the castle. Fairy princesses live in castles. If I were a fairy princess, I would live in a tree house. Can we come over? Only if you say the castle is the best. It is the best. 
Oh dear, it is raining, and the castle has no roof. Let's go to the treehouse. No, I'll never leave my castle. <laughs> the rain has stopped. George has found a muddy puddle. That looks fun. <laughs> I'm staying in my castle. I'm staying in my tree house. Oh, oh. I'll look after your castle, Daddy. I'll look after your tree house, Peppa. <laughs> Pepper and Danny love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles, whether they are girls or boys.